Okay, so I want to show us guys um, how to put the side pockets on our trouser. So now here I have with me is my lining and the pocket facing right. So I have already ironed all of this. Now the way I do my cuttings, I try to make everything ready before I come to the machine to sew. I have already ironed and I have already weaved everything. So make sure you follow suit. It makes your work a whole lot easy, right? Now this area I have um, the pocket facing is the area um, I will place this the straight line, right? I will place this this way. Now please make sure you refer to previous videos I made on cutting on the trousers for you to know how these components were cut. Now I want to assure you that it's the same process, right? The same procedure. It is the same procedure that I am using. Now the only thing different here is the stitching of the side band, which I will still bring to your knowledge when you get to that stage. So just put your pocket facing here. Now be in mind that you only put the pocket facing if you are not making use of the same material to do your lining. But in the case whereby you are using the same material in your lining, please don't put your pocket facing because there will be no need to put pocket facing if you are using the same material as your pocketing, right? So just stitch all through this way. Stitch all through this way. Now do the same thing on the other pocketing as well. I have already weaved all my components. This is how your sewing should be. It makes the work a lot easier for you and then you will not have issues when you start stitching all of this. So just stitch all of this first. The pocket facings goes down first, this way. Right, and then I make sure I am putting the pocket facing at the wrong side of the lining so that it will reflect the real lining at the inside. Now, even if I am using um, I am using um, the main lining to cover the, the pocket thing, but it is still okay to do in this form. So just stitch all through this way, and then the next you will do now is to start fixing the bodies of the trouser to these pockets. So I have to lose here a bit. Okay. Alright. Alright. So now, after you must have done that, now you pick um, always cut your threads then you pick one of the trouser parts um, you now bring this other one now this one is the um, right panel so the pocket seam will be placed in this form at this direction then you place it uh, make sure there's no wrong post coming out on any of this just lose it a bit okay it's okay now so now you are placing this main trouser body half inch inside from that part that you gummed right this is the gum section right so place it half an inch inwards this way right so half an inch inwards this way and then you place it half an inch down so stitch from the folded angular edge this way Please make sure you refer to my videos on stitching of trousers or government of trousers. I have these videos um, explained previously. So stitch all through this way and then stitch here as well all through this way again. So when you must have bottom to this stage. So the next thing we do now, my real, all right, so after you must have done that, so you just cut your threads this way, cut your threads, and then fold the pocketing, the trouser backwards this way, and then top stitch the tip, top stitch the tip. Now you can decide to sew only one thread or double thread, there's no problem, however be the case, just make it to be nice, 
then substitute the teeth this way and make sure that your hand must be straight enough it must be straight enough then after you must have done that you cut your threads you cut your threads this way and then you also come again in this form then this stitch now we have um, a gap of your footer size i use my footer as the gauge in order to know how to stitch the second line you can decide as well to mark your chalk but i'm using my footer i'm lapping the machine foot at the end of the first threading i made here so i'm threading from there all through that way i'm threading from there all through that way and then your threading must be in this form so then you cut your thread as well so this is how the threading should be it should be as straight as possible then you hold the pocket in and then place it in this form sorry my watch so you hold your pocket in place in this form and then you are now trying to um, measure out the 2.5 inch notching you used to notch the pocket at the beginning so from here you get 2.5 from the edge end of the weave part to the second thread you have sewn so 2.5 inches there so this is how it will be then hold it down that way and then you stitch the off area first stitch it first after which after which you cut off all the excesses cut it off and then you make sure you thread the base and make sure that the pocket is relaxing very important as well you must be relaxed then thread here just quarter inch just thread quarter inch here then after this cut your threads cut your thread and then raise the main trouser up and then you notch here half an inch inwards or three quarter inch inwards this way and then put your hand inside the pocket and then bring it out this way and then hold it firmly hold it firmly and thread the base from here thread the base you can decide to give it a curving stitch or a straight line stitch however be the case so you give it a curvy stitch in this form the curvy stitch in this form then cut your threads and then trim off the excesses here trim it off very important you must do this trim it off don't trim too close to where you have sewn trim it a bit off from the line you have sewn and then cut any threads as well then tuck it in this way tuck it in this way and then you top stitch the base so this is how you fix your pocket for the front pocket right so top stitch the base in this form top stitch the base top stitch the base top stitch the base in this form top stitch the base top stitch all through to these points then after which you, you have done that so you do the same thing on the other pocket and then you can see that we are we have achieved fixing the front pocket properly right so we are done with this so i will do the next one and show you the results all right guys so now i am done fixing the pockets of the trouser right so this is how the pockets are the fronts and the, the two fronts so now i want to fix the bar the the, the um the flap but then before you fix the flap you must fix your lining first right so you bring the lining so you bring the lining now this lining was cut in the shape of this trouser now the only thing i did here is to make the lining to be a bit wide so i just have to piece it here one inch extra right so i just cut the line a bit bigger than the main trouser and then i had to pleat it at the center here now this helps to make the trouser to relax 
without having the lining to be compressing the trouser. In most cases, when you cut your lining, it tends to fall short or shorter than the width of the trouser. So this one will help you to augment it in case there's any um, um, shortage of width, right? So I would just thread this all through, but then bear in mind that you're not threading across the lap, just thread from here all through. Now the length of the lining should be from 20 inches, 19 and 21 maximum, right? So you cut the lining in that form and then thread at the edges all through, but don't thread across the lap area.